The second Home Assistant release of the year has arrived, 2022.3. Yeah, it's the second one in the third month. Don't worry about it. But let's take a look at all the brand new features in this release. And this month we see a lot of new features and continued improvement to the media player after already having seen some really good improvements in last month's release. So let's jump in with the first one, and that is that there is a brand new and much easier way to play media within your automations and scripts with the new play media action. This feature can now be seen when creating an automation, showing up under the action section, and selecting it allows you to quickly and easily play media on any media player that you would like. Anything from music on speakers or cameras and movies on displays, and then it is now very easy to do that within your scripts and automations with this new UI to help you. One example that I could think of that would be really useful here is when creating an automation that when the doorbell is pressed, it can start streaming your camera on a display of the room that you are in, or perhaps start playing a preset alarm siren on your speakers when your alarm is triggered. This should work with any media player that you have connected, as well as any media source that you have added. And this is going to make playing media from scripts and automations so much easier, as in the past, it has been a bit of a sticking point for a lot of us. So really nice improvement there. And speaking of media sources, there have now been quite a lot of new media sources now been added to this release. As mentioned, cameras have now been added as a media source, so that you can now select them and start playing them on any of your connected media players, which I think is incredibly useful given how many more of us are actually using cameras with Home Assistant through projects like Frigate and Double Take. Also added in this release is a new integration called Radio Browser that will also work as a media source and allows you to listen to pretty much any radio station natively through Home Assistant. And when I saw the sheer number of radio stations that have been made available, my jaw just about hit the floor. Frank must have drank a lot of coffee this month to get all of these added. This could be a great addition, for example, to adding to part of your morning routine to start playing your favorite radio station when you first wake up. You can also, of course, select your locally stored media, such as video clips from Frigate or any stored images and music, Oh, and speaking of locally stored media, getting your media files onto Home Assistant hasn't always been the easiest, but now in 2022.3, it is so much easier than ever before since they have now added the ability to upload media directly through your browser and it will automatically be added to Home Assistant. This is such a simple but genuinely useful feature and this definitely makes things so much easier for people to use. Okay, that was a lot of cool new media stuff. Let's switch gears a bit and head over to automations. Firstly, there is a small but super useful visual update to the trigger section. And that is that now when your automation is triggered, it will now display a visual bar to let you know that device is triggering the automations. Really useful for making sure that you have the correct device and your automation is triggering as you would expect it to. Another great addition to the automations page, if you are a bit more advanced and you like to do your automations in YAML, then auto completion of entity IDs is now supported in the built-in code editor, allowing you to power through and complete those automations even faster. In fact, this isn't actually just for use within automations, but it will also work when creating Lovelace cards, thank you, and also in the template editor. All in all, this should make things so much quicker. As always, there have been some new integrations added to this release, and other than the new radio browser feature, which we already talked about, I am personally looking forward to the DLNA integration, which will also be added as a media source to Home Assistant, so that you can use that for playing movies on if you have a DLNA server. That's the only integration that appeals to me personally from this list, but you may be excited for some of these other ones too. There's also two new integrations being ported over from the config and now available to be set up via the UI instead. Finally, for the bigger stuff, this isn't so much as a feature from this release per se, but you can now sign up for the Home Assistant newsletter, which will notify you about any new releases via email if you prefer that, as well as I'm sure any other interesting news from the Home Assistant team too. 
As for the little fixes and features, there is a bunch of them as always, which you can read about on the Home Assistant blog post, but the standout ones for me are the Shelly TRVs, which I did a video about last week, which you can check out up here. You can now control the valve position natively inside of Home Assistant. Automations that use a state for the trigger or condition now have a drop down for selecting available attributes rather than manually typing them. There have been stability and feature improvements to the iCrea Trad Free integration. The media player now has volume control for quick access and ESP Home now supports adding locks natively to Home Assistant. Finally, I do want to round this out by reminding you to take a look at the breaking changes section before hitting the update button. Thankfully, the list this month is pretty small compared to last month's, and so it shouldn't take too long. But the one that I did want to briefly mention is that if you're using the older Z-Wave or open Z-Wave integration, then 2022.3 is the last release that you will have to migrate to the new and improved Z-Wave JS integration. As of 2022.4, the Z-Wave and Open Z-Wave integrations will be removed, so you need to make sure that you have migrated over before then if you haven't already done so. And there we go, that is everything new in Home Assistant 2022.3. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this release as always. Lots of nice improvements to the media player this month, which I know lots of you guys have been looking forward to. Let me know what your favorite feature from this release is down in the comments. And for me personally, it's probably the new play media action in automations, coupled with being able to select a camera as a source now. That is super powerful, and I can see that being used in a ton of different ways. And playing media from automations wasn't always the easiest in the past, so great to see that improved. But that's going to do it from me. Please make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.